Now, you can't get more clear than that. It may be written in all kinds of fancy language, but this is what we need to tell the psychiatrists over at the APA. They are violating international law. And what's more, I don't know how many of you know this, the Special Rapporteur on Torture has said that forced psychiatry is a form of torture and ill treatment. Forced drugging with neuroleptics, forced electroshock, psychosurgery, restraint, and solitary confinement cannot be justified, and that they can be considered a form of torture. So we can also say to the psychiatrist, it's not only us crazy people who call you torturers. The United Nations is saying this. Now you have to deal with it. And eventually, they will have to deal with it. So I know I'm probably going to go. I want to say one more thing, because another reason we're here at the UN is because we are an international movement, and people all around the world, in every region, in Africa, Latin America, Asia, Europe, and North America, people are fighting for these same rights. In India, there is a bill that was put forward by a government ministry that would commit the government to phasing out civil commitment and creating the right kind of services that people want. There's another bill, a mental health law, that would just continue the same old thing. And our comrades are in, in India are fighting to stop the mental health law and implement the law that would really create our human rights. If India did that, it would be the first country in the world to phase out civil commitment. So we've got to give solidarity to each other and, and work together, and, and, and eventually it will happen. So that's what I can leave you with.